In this video, we will look at migrating the ISR 1100 series hardware running Viptela OS to iOS X ASD WAN. Starting from release 20.4.1, it is possible to now run iOS X ASD WAN on ISR 1100 4G and 6G series routers. For this demo, I have a single 1100 4G router running Viptela OS. Let's go to networks. And as you can see, I have a single 1100 4G router which is running Viptela OS and it is running 20.4.1 version. Now it is important to know for converting to iOS X ASD WAN, the device needs to be running a minimum version of 20.4.1. So if you have a device running a lower version, we need to first upgrade it to 20.4.1 before we kickstart the conversion. The first step in migration is to remove any template attached to the device. So let's go to templates. Let's choose the template attached to the device and let's detach. On the software repository, I have already uploaded the iOS XC SD WAN software for this device. The iOS version with the BE suffix is for the 1100 4G in the 6G device. Let's go to software upgrade. Let's choose our device and then click upgrade. And from the drop down, let's choose the ISX image. As you can see, the moment we choose the iOS XE code, it provides information that this will trigger a migration from Viptel OS to XASD WAN. Now, if you click upgrade, uh, the vManage will push the new software, migrate the Viptel OS configuration to a base XE configuration for the device, and then it will be able to connect to the controllers with the XASD WAN. The software push might take some time depending on the latency between the device and the controllers. So for this demo, I'll cancel this and I'll do the software upgrade manually to speed up the demo. Let's do a show run. And you can see the device has a basic configuration of a single interface connecting to the network and a management interface. Let's check the software running on the device. And as you can see, it is running 20.4.1 Viptel OS. Now let's use SCP to transfer the iOS XE image into this device. The code's copied now. So let's go back to our device and install this code. Let's do a show software. Now you can see that you have both the iOS XC STVAN software as well as the Viplo OS software. So let's activate the software. This will reboot the router and trigger the migration to XC STVAN. This might take a while and hence I'll be fast forwarding the video. As you can see the device has gone down. The system is restarting. You can see the system has got an IP address via DHCP and it has established a successful communication with the controllers and you can see that the device has come up in the vManage dashboard. And do a show SD-WAN version. You can see that this is running 17.4.1. Let's do a show version. 
and you can see that it's actually running iOS XE SD WAN. So let's check the device. And as you can see, that now this is running Cisco OS and 17.4.1. The final step is to go back to devices. Choose our device. So this is a device. And just say migrate device. Click yes. So now you can see this is for showing Viptel OS, and if I refresh, now uh, this should show Cisco OS. Thus, we can now run XCSD WAN and, and all the XCSD WAN features on the 1100 4G and the 6G series routers. That's it for this demo, and thanks for watching.